Straight J is your boy DB back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with differences between America and Australia education. Before we dive into this and figure out what these differences are, make sure you hit the subscribe button, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up top. You're subscribed to any of it, put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Human, I talk back. You guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. Where we go? Great about all of that. Hey guys, it's Paige and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to What's be talking up, about education because it is so requested from you guys. You guys want to know about the American educational system because if you're Australian and then if you're American, I think you also would want to know about the Australian education system. Cool. I don't know too much about it because I've only gone here for just a couple months. So what I'm going to do is okay. talk about the most stuff that I do know, which is about the American education system. And then okay. the differences that I have picked up in my time here. And besides that, I'm going to let the comment section just be filled by maybe Australians who know more about your education system so that if Americans come, um, they can maybe check that out in the comment section because I don't necessarily know. I'm just talking about what I do know, so let's get right into the video. So I'm just going to give a quick overview of how the American educational system like categorizes people because you guys asked me that. Um, so first, you guys wanted to know about high school. Like, what is high school? So high school is um grades 9 through 12 yes grades yes. 9 through 12 and normally like if you are a freshman you're going to be ages 14 to 15 if you're a sophomore you'll be 15 to 16 if you're a junior so you will be so 17 sorry 16, 16 to 17, 17 and if you're a senior you'll be 17 to 18. and in some cases you might be 19. so i i, I went to school with some 19 year old seniors i believe there were a couple of them not many but 16 to 17 and if you're a senior you'll be 17 to 18. excuse me i always burp in all my videos sorry y'all so most 18 year olds most seniors are going to be 18 years old Thanks. um so a freshman is just i told you kind of the age ranges and they're like the fresh meat it's like i don't really know how to describe that sophomore you're kind of middle of the road junior you're middle of the road junior year in america is when most people have to take a lot of in-state testing i don't know if that's mm. a thing really here in australia but it's like standardized mm. testing so basically you take a bunch of tests that everybody takes and it just kind of like ranks you um there's also a basically. thing called the sat that i think you would maybe more take you could take it maybe as a junior but i think most people take it senior year maybe at the beginning um yeah you might junior year you might take like a practice sat to get you ready but more 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 times than not it's taken in senior year take, you could take it maybe as a junior but i think most people take it senior year maybe at the beginning um and it's very common in america to take a lot of sat prep classes so like if you have a lot of money or even if did. you don't have a lot of money necessarily i think it's more common with rich kids but if you yeah, just have parents who have set aside a fund for you even if you don't have a lot of money it's very common for those types of people yeah. to study really hard because like to get into like harvard or like I, yeah, exactly. princeton or something like that which is yeah. what in america we would call ivy league school i was gonna say i still i never studied for the sat i just went in Went in, took it, went out, got a good enough score to get into the co only college that I applied to, and it was cool. Like I, I was good, but yeah, a lot of people I, I will study really hard to get in those top notch colleges: the Harvard, the Princeton, the Yales. Yeah, I, I would have needed preparation like too. Princeton or something like that, which is what in America we would call Ivy League schools. You um, need good scores. There's the SAT and the ACT. Now the SAT is a little bit more important and that's graded on a scale like 1600, 1800, that kind of thing. And then the ACT is more like 20, 25, that sort of scale. And like I said, the SAT is going to be more important. Now we have a thing called kindergarten, which is going to be your little baby people um they're probably like five or six and then you have preschool which yeah. is before that and when you're in preschool there is half day preschool um mm -hmm. and with kindergarten as well there's so for preschool and for kindergarten because that's your little kids who are ages like four five and six you have um half day which is really? you just go till maybe like noon and then your parents would come pick you up like 8 a.m to noon and if not you could go to full day kindergarten which would be yes. i think until three o'clock so maybe like 8 a.m until three o'clock um, i ain't even know about no half day kindergarten i ain't never heard of that that's just the first time i'm hearing of a half day kindergarten 
have day preschool. Which would be, I think, until 3 o'clock. So maybe like 8 a.m. until 3 o'clock. Um, and the reason that they do that is because kids are young and sometimes they don't want to be away from their mothers and just things yeah. like that. Also, as I'm talking, I'm realizing space. that I'm seeing a lot of stuff. And so I might have to make this video a couple parts. It might not be able to fit all into one video. So we will see. Next, you have elementary school. Now, elementary school is starting from preschool and it goes all the way up until the fifth grade within America. So um, that's just like you have preschool, kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade. Now, when you're in the fifth grade, you are ages 10 turning 11 in the fifth grade. So you okay. can just kind of like reverse that. So obviously in fourth grade, you're nine turning 10. Yeah. Um, and all that kind of yeah, stuff. So forth, so forth. Then you go on to a thing called middle school, which is going to be grades. Ooh, a huge magpie just get in my backyard. I don't know, so <laughs> everyone tried to comment on my videos. The birds aren't vicious. You guys, a magpie attacked my host brother and he was bleeding. So for all of oh you my God. haters in the comments, like that doesn't happen. Yes, it does. It might not have happened to you, but I know multiple <laughs> friends who have been attacked. And every time I'm walking, I'm even more paranoid because all my American I'll friends, bet. like half of them have been attacked. I'm so scared. Plus, like I said, my host brother's head was bleeding. I like saw God, him. He was like, yeah, like, legitimately so scary. Get out of the backyard. I tell you, hey, magpies out there taking people out. They take your heads off out there. Uh, but yeah, she's right about the grades. When I went to school, it was... K through fourth was elementary. Five and six were intermediate. Middle school was seven and eight, and high school was nine through twelve. But it's different. Uh, whatever state you're in, whatever, know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to be different. Saw him come home, and he was like, "Yeah, like legitimately, so scary. Get yeah, out of I'd the backyard." Scary. I don't and like birds. Moving on. I don't like birds. Middle school. Um, middle school is sixth through eighth grade, and that is kind of you're just like. You're not in elementary school anymore, so you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm so cool. But then you're not in high school yet, which you're so you're still kind of like just middle of the road. So you yeah. try to like rule over the elementary school kids, but you're still like a kid compared to all the high schoolers. So you're just kind of in the middle, like, yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of floating around. These are your really really awkward years, and yeah, yeah I didn't really have the most traditional yeah, middle school is. experience because I went to a school for the arts. It's kind of like if you've ever seen Fame, like I had a really crazy school. People wore tutus to school, Pokemon costumes. We got oh, to. Wow our lockers we were weirdos okay <laughs> so i'm not gonna really like we didn't even have grades like a b c d e f what am i talking about we don't even go that far um yeah so the next is high school which i kind of explained a little bit the ages that you would be you would be 13 turning 14 freshman year 15 turning 16 sophomore year 16 turning 17 junior year and 17 turning 18 senior year sophomore is when you have all these school dances you have homecoming which is like like homecoming king and queen where it's like the school royalty there's like there's one picked for each grade freshman sophomore junior senior there's a homecoming you also have prom which is like a really big uh, thing in senior year everyone tries yeah, to like win prom queen fun fact i actually was the prom queen my senior year but we didn't, my school wasn't really big on like prom or anything like that like a lot of schools it's like a really big deal but my yeah. school was a lot more nonchalant like nobody like ran for prom queen you just kind of pick yeah. like somebody who's just like nice and like you like at my school what i found is like nobody like normally like, the popular girls at schools will like win prom queen but at my school it was like always like just like nice people who would win and like maybe people who weren't even like all that well known so it was really cool that i won i remember i was so caught off guard and surprised like whoa but yeah prom i never ran at our school it's kind of saying nobody really ran for it you basically just got a sheet with like five names of like either not the most nice kids or the most popular kids were on the list you just voted for who you wanted to win uh, but nobody like campaigned and nobody did any of that you just took a vote and so uh our school was the same but yeah prom i definitely en did i enjoy prom i probably didn't enjoy prom to be honest it was just an event to take my money that's what it was that's it was really cool that I won. I remember I was so caught off guard and surprised, like, whoa. But traditionally, in general, in American schools, prom queen's like the popular, like, beauty queen girl who's like, mm, and she's like, kind of, <laughs> I don't know. That's all the other schools I know prom queen wasn't like super nice. But at my school, like I said, because even when I was a sophomore, I remember my friend won her senior year and she was like so nice and like sweet. She was on the volleyball team. Hey. She's just like a nice girl. Anyway. So awesome. Um, School dances are a big thing in the United States. I'm going to talk about the grading system. Yep. You have A, B, C, 
D, D and F. F. Why why am I like why was that so hard for me? It's because while I'm here know. in Australia, I don't have I don't that rating system, so okay. I would confuse myself. Yeah, so you have A, B, C, D, and F. Um, and A is like great. You just done a great job. B is like pretty good. C is just like you're really, really average. Not great, not bad. D is like ooh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. 60 and F is like, okay, you just suck. You're just, you Anything just failed. And F is failing. D is failing depending on the schools that you are at. Yeah. Um, so if you were to compare it to what you guys have here, an outstanding in Australia. So out, there's like outstanding in Australia, commendable, satisfactory, unsatisfactory is what I think it is. And that's like how they graded our like standard test, like our, our state test. Like that's how you're graded. Uh, you could be like, no, no, it was outstanding, like, surpassed, commendable, whatever, overachieved, something like that. Uh, or com then you got commendable, satisfactory, unsatisfactory. Yeah, yeah, I, I know this grade is just satisfactory, unsatisfactory is what I think it is. And the outstanding is like an A plus in America. The mm. commendable is like a B in America. The satisfactory is like a C. And the unsatisfactory is like an F um, oh. and maybe even a D. Because I think a D is unsatisfactory okay. as well. Um, that makes sense. So that's how all of that works. Because in Australia, at least at the uni that I go to, it's not a, um, a B, C, D type of thing. Um, the next you. thing that I want to get in on is like, uh, at least what I've noticed here is like the grading rubrics. Not the great, like the grading rubric itself isn't super vague, but the actual assignment is very vague. So the assignment will be like, mm. write a reflection on this book. And that doesn't say anything else in the assignment description. And then you just have to like, <laughs> try to read the rubric that's like, out, like it'll be like outstanding and it'll tell you what you have to do that like, gives a good description of characters. Um, okay. Da, da, da. Like it'll, and then it'll be like commendable. Does, I don't know, like, do you guys know what I'm trying to say? And so, that I just struggle with me. the assignments here because they're so, so vague, the actual description. Like normally in America, it would be like, give a reflection on this book. Make sure to point out the author's key points and things that you found Facts. interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. And um, give a summary of your favorite points. I don't know if I just was redundant and repeated things, but you guys know what I'm yeah. saying. Like, it'll be like, oh. I, I know exactly what she means. Yeah, that's how it is in America. I guess she's saying it's more specific instructions on what you need to get a certain grade. Uh, where she's saying in Australia, it's more vague. I understood Australia, write a summary. Uh, talk about the characters, talk about the book, how the book made you feel. What, what were your thoughts about the book? Is what I would assume when someone says write a reflection. But uh, I understand where she's going with this. Points. I don't know if I just was redundant and repeated things, but you guys know what I'm saying. Like, it'll be like a like a paragraph or something of like what the assignment is. Whereas here, it's just like two sentences, yeah. at least the schools that I'm okay. going to. And that is hard. Next, turn it in is used very heavily from what I noticed in Australia, which turn is like a plagiarism in. checker. And they're very yeah. like, don't plagiarize, don't plagiarize, don't plagiarize. Hey, 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 don't plagiarize. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't I gotta, I gotta thank God that my when I was in school, uh, they probably changed it now. But when I was in high school, we did not use turn it in. Thank the Lord. When I got in college, they used turn it in. I had to start paying like online sites to write my papers. People from online sites to write my papers uh, because now I couldn't just go to Google and copy and paste anymore, or it was, turn it in was gonna get me. And so I had to start paying, but. In high school, you better believe that copy and paste was my best friend when it came to writing papers. And they're very like, don't play drives, don't play drives, don't play drives. Hey, 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 don't play drives, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't play drives, don't play drives, don't play drives. Don't play drives. And I'm like, <laughs> are people just plagiarizing everywhere? Because why are you guys so crazy about this? <laughs> in the US, they're like, don't plagiarize. But like, honestly, people get away with it. Like, really, I swear to God, I know people who, I swear like, to God. Will plagiarize and not get caught at all because there's no like, yes. we don't have to turn it in electronically yeah. from. Exactly. When I've noticed in Australia, everything's like electronic. It is so crazy. I'm not used to everything being electronic. Um, but I like haven't had to turn in a paper copy of anything. The next thing is back home at my college, I like the guidance counselor there tried to be rude to me. Like, why are you taking a 200 level course? That's sophomore level. Ah. Jeez, <laughs> I mean, you're not gonna get credit. And I was like, okay, oh, wow. um, what? But then I talked to my counselor here who told me that because in America, we have a freshman in college, a sophomore in college, a junior in college, and a senior in college, yeah. which basically mirrors exactly what those 
tears would be in um, high school. High school. It's just like the same thing, but just mirrored for the older ages. Exactly. Um, and so within that freshman year, you take very, very general credits. You just take like, even if you're like a biology major, you might take a class yeah. on like people skills or like a math class or a yeah. drawing class. You just take a lot of like general classes that might have nothing to do with being a biology major or like learning how to like deal with the body and how it works. So you take very general classes freshman year. Sophomore year, you'll take about like kind of half and half, like half and half like general credits. You might get to take a Zumba class, but then you also will take more things That's geared facts. towards if you're, That's let's just facts. go with education. If you're an education major, you might take some more education classes. Then junior and senior year, you don't have to take any more general courses. You're taking upper level, like hard, rigorous. I'm a teacher, you know, you're doing your student teacher. It's like you're taking your major courses at that point, like mainly courses that, that apply to your major. Like those, like she said, the first year, two years, it's like basic. You're taking basic courses, like you know what I'm saying. Like me, I was a, uh, I, I forget my major, uh, recreation, sport and recreation management major. I guess that's, yeah, that's that's what it was. I can't remember exactly, but yeah, like I was still having to take like I finished math in high school, so I was still having to take like English and history and stuff like that my freshman and junior or freshman and sophomore year. Well, basically, when it got to, like, second semester or sophomore year, going into junior year, then all the courses were just geared toward my major, what my major was, and I was only having to take those kind of courses. Courses, you're taking upper level, like, hard, rigorous, I'm a teacher, you know, you're doing your student teaching, um, all your classes are with people who are just other education majors whereas freshman and sophomore year you might be with a bunch of people you might be with a biology exactly. major you might be with a communication exactly. major you might be with everybody freshman and sophomore year so back to what i was saying about the 200 level courses um so 100 level courses are for freshmen 200 for sophomore 300 for juniors and 400 level is for seniors yeah. but in australia um 200 level here is actually considered junior level classes and 300 mm. level in australia is considered like senior level okay. because you guys basically cut out the freshman year so right when you get to college or you guys call it uni here sorry it's very common to call <laughs> uni what you guys call uni in australia college in america like you would okay. say oh i go to a university but people yeah. will all say like what college do you go to and then you would say like harvard university or like something like that but we don't call it university in, in america college. we call it college all of them it doesn't matter if it has university yeah. in the title we're still going to call it college <laughs> exactly um, so anyway back to what i was saying the 200 this is such complicated stuff that it feels so dumb so <laughs> if you guys don't understand anything make sure you just leave it in the comments yeah so because you guys cut all of that out the 200 level courses are like a junior and the 300 level courses are like a senior so I was taking like kind of like junior level courses, senior level courses while I'm here in Australia, but back home my counselor thought that I wasn't. So, but when they transfer over, that is how it will transfer. Um, so that had to get all worked out, but that is a big difference I noticed because like I was thinking that my trans my credits weren't even gonna transfer back home. Yeah, so um, what I've noticed in Australia, I was talking to somebody who told me that she was like grade 11 and I'm pretty sure she was 15 turning 16. So that's, I don't really have a lot of experience with anything besides uni here. So I'm sorry, I can't really talk about like primary school and all that stuff. But I do know in America, we don't have anything called primary school. Um, no. So yeah, like I said, if you're an Australian and you know that, maybe leave it in the comments for some of the American people. But I do know a Please. lot of my viewers are Australian. So I hope me talking more primarily from the perspective that I am aware of, which is America, <laughs> that that was kind of helpful for you guys. Um, I will maybe try to do a part two if you guys have a bunch of questions about the Amer American education system that I can answer. And maybe if you're American, have questions about Australian education system, you can still leave it in the comments and other people can that answer be, it yeah. for you. Um, again, right, sorry that this was kind of vague i just tried to give you as much as i could right now and like i said if you guys have specific questions i didn't answer just let me know um give this video video give this video give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it please continue to comment to me you guys the thumbs up in the comments are so so incredibly helpful also subscribe if you aren't already my channel is growing and it's all thanks to you guys you guys are amazing i love you so 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 much um, yeah, this video is pre-filmed because right now I am in um, Melbourne or hey. New Zealand. But so I dope. hope that you guys are having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> I love you. <laughs>
she definitely seems just like a sweet, awesome person, and I love that. Uh, that's all we got for this one. Uh, she basically explained the Ameri American education system pretty well. Like, I don't really have much to add to it. I'd be intrigued to learn more about the Australian system, though. Like, if there are videos out there, like, that, that talk about the Australian system, I I'd love to learn about it. That's all we got for this one. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Ring notification bell. Get a video or a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media and Patreon, all up top. You can subscribe to any of it. Put all the links in the description. All you got to do is hit the link. Follow me. Talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team on YouTube. It's your boy, Dina. Out.